Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. It took me a while to remember the name, unfortunately. Last time, we finished up the Spirit's Grave. And we got a um, essence of thing. I have just completely forgotten, like, everything about this. It, we got an Eternal Spirit. That, that's all that matters right now. It's been a hot minute since I last recorded some of this, unfortunately. But we're back in business and we have a new gameplay mechanic right now. Introducing Maple? But yeah, she shows up after you've defeated a certain number of enemies. So you can always expect to see her after like every dungeon. Um, yeah. As she is right now, she only shows up every time we defeat 30 enemies. Anyway, ow, ow, ow. Watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all the stuff fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad. And I have to get that picture book. Who could have that book? Well, it's all made me mad, so I'm gonna take your stuff too. And now it's a race. So yeah, essentially you just wanna like, get as much as you can. Ah, couldn't reach that. Uh, you little, I'll remember this. So yeah, when she bumps into you, both of your stuff drops. And you can drop anything from like hearts, rupees, seeds, as you could see right there. And you just have to race against her to get as much stuff back as you can. Uh, it's a good way to get, like, a profit, for the most part. I forgot what her hierarchy is, though. I believe she goes for rupees first, then seeds, then hearts. I could be wrong about that, though. But yeah, we might be seeing a little more of her later on. Well, obviously we will, but whatever. Hey, I can get over here. Let's get that out the way. Someone finally came. This headstone blocks the path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Don't worry, I got your back, buddy. Yeah. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. It's that simple, folks. It's that simple. Just checking. Just checking. You came out. Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon, too. Well, hopefully not too soon. I kind of need to save this place. You got the pole clock. It lightens the heart? I have completely forgotten what the poke clock does. Um, lightens hearts. I have completely forgotten. Um, I might have to get back to you on that. Um. I... I genuinely cannot remember what that does. <laughs> like, I will look it up and if it's something in... Like... I, I, I don't... I don't know what I'm trying to say here, like... If it's something that will come up fairly soon... Then I will wait to say what it does, otherwise you can expect a caption saying what it does right around here. But yeah, if it's something coming up really, really soon, then... I'll probably just hold off on stating what it does. But all right. It's time to leave this place because we need to go somewhere else. There we go. All righty then. I've... I, I kind of forgot. 
where I need to go. Oh yeah, over here. That's right. Cause I think the Meku tree set. Okay, well actually it'll probably be best if I just talk to the Meku tree myself. That's the best course of action. The 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 pitfalls of trying to play a game long after <laughs> like you last recorded some of it. And I can't do this um unless it's only in the past, though I don't think that would be the case. Being vague because I hmm I thought I would have okay, yeah, I need to find a portal to the past, like ASAP. Um There's one next to the tree. But yeah, I, I'm being vague because Well, I just want to see if I can access this place first before I get ahead of myself. But anyway, let's talk to the tree. Here in essence echoing in the western woods. Okay, yeah, western woods, that's where we need to go. I mean, I'll come back, but it won't be to see you. It's to see Ferrar over here, remember her? But yeah, I don't believe we've unlocked anything new up here just yet. Oh, we did. It's gonna be a gaseous sea. Oh no, it's a fairy. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Hey, fairy fountain that will heal us whenever we need it. Alright, then more of these will open up as we advance in the game. Yeah, I'm hurting the Meku tree. Not, not, not really. Not really. I'm just giving her a haircut. It's fine. But yeah, I need to get to the past real quick. I really hope I will be able to show off this thing. Oh. Well, looks like I'm going to have to wait. Um. Well, might as well go over things now, then. Uh, but yeah, when you play the Oracle games on a Game Boy Advance, you get access to the Advance Shop. Yeah, uh, you can only access that special shop when playing on a Game Boy Advance. It's not required to beating the game. You just get nice little extras there. Uh, more on what those extras are when I can, you know, determine if I can actually access it or not on this emulator. Because, yeah, um, I mean, I'm using a GBA emulator. I have it set to GBA mode. But I don't know if that's enough. Symmetry City. Lena City. <laughs> well, let's go see what Symmetry City is all about. Oh, <laughs> well, looks like I can't really do much. Oh. What have we here? Oh, but yeah, also regarding the advanced shop, I believe you can also access it on the virtual console releases of these games. Um, well, the 3DS virtual console, that was the only virtual console uh, Ages and Seasons were released on. But yeah, I believe you can access the advanced shop in that release of the game. I'm not 100% sure on if you can access said shop when playing these games on the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. There will be a caption here stating yes or no. But uh, yeah, like as of right now, I'm not 100% sure about that. Though theoretically speaking, I should be able to access it here on emulator. But I believe I also need to wait a little while until I can freely navigate between the past and the present. Anyway, we got this dude right here. I'm so hungry. My stomach hurts. Ah, I'm hungry. Pardon me. I just thought you could help. Ah, I'm hungry. I mean, me too, but you don't hear me crying about it. So yeah, that dude is hungry. He's a part of the swap chain. Remember him, he'll be important later on. All right, so now let's go to the west, to the west. Well, the music changed, so I guess we're in the right spot. Oh my God, the memories are coming back. 
Oh my god, this whimsical music. It's so good. And we got a new enemy type! I believe these are Moblins, actually. So yeah, pretty basic. They always gonna show up in a Zelda game. A chest we can't get to just yet. Ooh, that looks important. Alrighty. Don't mind me. Just killing everything, showing you that... Showing you that I, in fact, cannot get that chest, and that was just very rude and inconsiderate. All I did was just murder his friends. He didn't have to shoot an arrow at me. Just saying. Just saying. Also, everything's looking a little similar right now. Just, okay, yeah, that's where I just came from. <laughs> I'm very good at directions. Oh, I remember this. This is our playground. Won't you play hide-and-seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide, so try to find us. So we got one under a rock. One under a left bush. And one right there. All right, ready or not, come find us. So this is not the hardest thing in the world, but the land is going to keep repeating because we're kind of trapped in limbo right now. But I do in fact remember that one is right there. Dang, but there's still two more. And then uh, just trying to find my way. There we go. That is so cheap. But we got number two. You found me, but the last one is hardest. So say you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little of this. Uh, I know he's not up here, but I might find something useful for me. No, I did not. Alrighty then. Uh, bah, bah, bah. There we go. That is so cheap. What? He found us all. You're going to cause the emulator to skip. You're good, mister. Aw, you found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. That was very nice of you, thank you. That was fun. Let's play again sometime. Yeah, um, I would rather not. But anyway, uh, now we can freely explore this place without any issues. That's good. It's pretty much the same. You can talk to them too. Let's play again sometime. No, no, I, I would rather not. Then we got this little corner right here. Nothing out of the ordinary. He's just chilling right there. That's where there was. Yeah, maybe I'll tease you again. It, d don't do that. It's just mean. And then, uh, might as well talk to you. You won't find us next time. <laughs> I think I will. Keep pressing the wrong button. So... Yeah, fairies would... Uh, I think if I go right here... Yep, there we go. Ancient cave! Beware! Crumbles. Easily. So I'm gonna go ahead... Maybe I should have paid attention to the sign. My fault. Link, are you alright? Now you can't get inside. The rocky blast, it was a support stone that held up the game. How was a stone outside? That wasn't even touching the support stone. Okay. Too bad Nehru can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nehru's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Alright, so uh, we kind of destroyed things here, but we do have a nice little shortcut back. So, I need to get to Nehru's house. And if memory serves correctly, Impa is squatting there, so, uh, yeah. I guess she doesn't have a place to call her own. Which, to be fair, she probably doesn't. She, she's not from here. But still, you can't just squat in somebody's house. That's just wrong. But anyway, we're almost there. I think. 
think it was up past here? I know I have a map. But I'm too lazy to check it. There we go. Yo, Impa. How's it going? Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I have felt drafts from above. Well, that was easy. These steps go down. You, you can't... No. No. Well, anyway. You got the Harp of Ages. I am Nehru, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it is not by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I hit the harp here knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you. By playing certain tunes on the Harp of Ages, you can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of Echoes. If you play that tune, you unlock the powers of the time portals found across this land. Step into a time portal to travel through time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that will let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I am counting on you. Unknown hero. <laughs> I mean, technically you didn't meet us, but maybe you pre-recorded this message, you know, just in case something happened. It's the Echo Tomb. It will awaken sleeping time portals. Yeah. So now this game has really opened up for us. I mean, it still follows a linear structure, but now we can explore quite a bit. Hurry, you must save Nehru. The world is falling apart. I know that. I know. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta hear from the tree. Tree Bay needs to say something. Link, that's the Harp of Ages. Maybe you can use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age, but perhaps in the past, you can find a way in. You don't say. Anyway, what's up here? I'm just curious. Well, I've kind of forgotten. Rolling Ridge. No, I can't really do much there, unfortunately. Alrighty uh, then. So here is the harp in action. And when we go through the portal. We're back in the past. What, what were you expecting? So, yeah. Um, now we can travel back and forth between time freely, as long as there's a portal nearby. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, this is the advanced shop. Okay, so it's only in the past? Huh. And again, I guess I was just confusing its location with seasons. And yeah, we can do uh, that mini game there. Oh, but real quick, I want to check on my tree. And then I can go back to the advanced shop. Well, I don't even have enough money for it. Maybe this will give me enough. You got a Gasha nut. Check what's inside. Ooh, a ring. That's pretty good. Do I have any extra seeds? I have one. All right, let's go ahead and plant it then, why not? So we're gonna go ahead, plant that, kill some enemies, come back and get something new. I like how there's two things like based off of the number of enemies you kill in this game. Maple and the Gasha Nuts. I want to be able to buy something from the advanced shop though. I, I want to support them. I just need rupees. I know I have a shovel but I'm too lazy to go to the start menu and change. Ah, fine. Okay, for a minute there, I didn't know if money existed in the past. I got 100 rupees. And yeah, welcome, sir, to the 100 rupee advance shop. I'm amazed you found us. We're only found on Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Everything is 100 rupees. Don't let our secret out.
about that. This is kind of being broadcast on YouTube right now. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this ring right here. Advance ring. 100 rupees. Well, what's this ring? Magical ring. What kind of ring is it? It's a secret. Well, I'll get the advance ring first. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. Uh, mild spoilers. The advance ring does nothing. Like, at all. Oh, and when you deplete his shop, you know, th that's it. They only sell three things. But, yeah, the rings you get at the advance shop aren't anything major. And I guess that's good, you know, for the people that don't quite have Game Boy Advances. Or, well, didn't have them when this game came out. You know, you don't want to give them too much of an unfair advantage. Well, I say that like Zelda was a competition back in the day. I, I don't know what I'm trying to get at here. So anyway, we're in the past on this side now. I'm going to save major exploration across the land until after this next dungeon. Because if memory serves correctly, I think we're about to get bombs very soon. So yeah, I'm just going to try and get to the dungeon real quick like... I need that rupee. I'm kind of broke right now. I thought I was about to die. There we go. Get out of my way, Keys. Okay, so the rupee will stay in place, but the heart... Well, no, the rupee was kind of on the wall there. Ooh, piece of heart. Rude. Okay. I'm on, just navigating around this... Like... I'm just getting wrecked? Um, well, this was an enlightening experience. I'm, I'm going home. Screw this. I just killed that Keese. Why is it back? Why are you back, Keese? Well, now you're dead. Alright, so, um, that wasted a lot of time. Let's talk to this old woman. My husband gave Queen Abby that which pleases her, but he was still taken to work on the Black Tower. I want him back. Alright then. Oh, crap. Wait, sorry. I need to go back and check something real quick. We need to check on the couple who had a child that they allowed me to name. I might want to take this off A, just in case I accidentally press it when I'm not next to him. Oh. Alright. I guess not enough time has passed for the next life change to happen. Alright, I just had to check in on them. It is what it is. And, yeah, I mean, I do have rings that do need to be appraised, but I don't have the money to do it right now. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Oh my god, is there a portal, like, nearby? Because I really don't want to go outside the town for this. Oh boy. I had to come back. I had to come back. Uh-oh. In retrospect, I could have just checked the map, because when you hover over a space that does, in fact, have a portal, it'll tell you. So, yeah, you know... Nice little life hack there. Oh yeah, and I also forgot about that too. It even shows you where you planted your gasha nuts. So yeah, you know, this game thought of everything to help you out. Well, not everything, but you know, it it it's kind of surprising that, you know, that's a thing here where a lot of games really I killed enough enemies for you to show up. Huh. But yeah, like, a lot of Game Boy Color games at this time weren't really that advanced. Oh, that is excellent, but I am nowhere near it. Uh, Red Potion, I want that. But she is going to get to it before me. She is definitely going to go for that first. Watch where you're walking. I came through this weird tunnel and was flying happily along. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I'm taking your stuff too. Yeah, I was not going to get that. She was, like, far too close. Wait, you... You go for hearts over the tiny rupees? Huh. Alright then. 
Well, I do have a bit of a profit now, so that's good. I killed enough enemies for her to show up? Really? Alright then. Well, anyway... We're just gonna go ahead, go down here, talk to you, because you seem troubled. Ambi's bombs have tremendous power. Alright. Good to know. Uh, we got... Dude right there. Oh. I'm looking at this cave, thinking there's treasure inside, but I can't get in with this rock here. Oh my god, I can't even read today right now. I'm sorry. If I could just blast it away. Hint, hint, we need bombs. Alright, and then let's talk to you. Somewhere in the woods is a tree that bears very special seeds. Somewhere in the woods, huh? I'm gonna find something that Queen Ambi desires so I don't have to work at Ambi's Tower. Okay, a lot of people are here for some reason. Deep in the woods are magical seeds and an owl statue. When the seeds are placed on the statue, it moves! The first time I saw it, it startled me, but I now find it amusing. But I'm not supposed to go into the woods, so don't tell the adults. The well, one's right here and he probably overheard you. What did the queen want? Puzzle seeds? Enigma seeds? It's a mystery to me. Hmm. We got something right there. Are you also searching for that which Ambi desires? You should not go further. There are hordes of terrible beasts. Yeah, well, I have a sword. I mean, you do too, but I'm also not a craven coward. See, they can't even get to me. What, what am I afraid of? And... I walked right into you. That was very bad. Anything over here? Okay, yeah. So this is about to extend on a little more, so I guess we're going to stop for today. Next time, we're going to try and find that which Queen Ambie desires. And maybe, just maybe, she might hook us up with some bombs. And then you see where we can go from there? Yeah, yeah, the next place, yeah! Yeah, things are beginning to fall in line. Yeah! All right, see you all next time. Goodbye.